Hello and welcome to my hobby vlog number seven. And welcome to the new space. This is me um, for the I think for the first time on the hobby vlogs um, in in the new little area. I've um, I've moved out of my full on man cave um, uh, to to make way for one of my children, and um, I, I've kind of taken over a corner of the spare room. So I'm down here in my new digs, um, which I, it's cool. It's it's nice. I've uh, got a good little setup here, and I'm very happy. So uh, we have a hobby vlog. And a kind of, at least for the minute, um, normal service is going to be res um, resumed. Although I think this one's going to be pretty short, all things considered. So my last three hobby vlogs were my journey to the GT in the SPG photo shoot, shoot. And there was an awful lot of stuff going on over the course of, was it five weeks, I think, something like that. And I did three long hobby vlogs talking through the process. That was really good fun at that kind of January, February time. But um, this is more of a, um, a kind of... Um, catch up on in March essentially um, so I'm going to talk you through uh, what I achieved in March and, and we're going to show you the models as always and then we will um, we will come back and um, and sort of review where we've been so um, yeah a little a little bit of a I say a different hobby vlog but it's the other ones are different a little bit of a more normal hobby vlog I'm going to take you over to and show you what I've been painting and then come back and sort of um, situate that and uh, evaluate the um, progress of of the month all right I'll see you soon okay so here we go let's see what um, we're working on and um, first up we have the eight plastic Numenorias with shields and the reason they are with shields is because I have to say a huge thanks to two of our lovely patrons Dan Goldster and Chris Cooper who um, kindly sent me um, spare Numenorian shields in the post because I didn't have any but uh, let's have a look so these guys are not going to win any awards by, by any means um, you can see the sort of job I've done on them they have been absolutely speed painted I'm not going to dwell too much on them I was doing these on one of the stream um, streams at least they, they should all look exactly the same but they are just following the guides so there are two new Minorian guides one in pack two I think it is or pack one maybe of Battle Games of Middle Earth and then one in something like 44 or 45 and the one in 45 just says paint them as you painted them in pack one and then make them better so these are really really simple they're just um, kind of single coats really um, the big twist as it were is that um, they say highlight the cloak with blue you can sort of see a good example of that it's paint it black and highlight it with blue it's not a kind of um, revolutionary thing but, it, but it's like that way they'll look it's better than just highlighting them with grey and you know it kind of worked um, it's alright, um, it's not what I would normally do I think obviously it just makes their cloaks look like they're blue as opposed to um, um, black but that, that's fine for these models and these were they were just tons and tons of fun to paint I painted out really really quickly they're really rough and ready, kind of tabletop standard at absolute best. They're very, very much um, battle streams models, you know, models painted. I don't, I don't have any plans for these. I don't, I don't need them for anything. They don't have to match anything else. So I was really kind of just um, almost sloppy and uncaring with the colours. That it didn't, it didn't really matter. I didn't have to make a note of how I painted them or anything. I was just um, kind of doing them really quickly and not worrying about it because I've got absolutely zero plans for a new Minorian army at any point in the future. Um, so I wasn't worried about that sort of thing. And even if if I ever end up doing a new Minorian army, these guys won't be in it, you know, because they were so quickly painted. I'll just um, I'll get some I'll get some more and paint them up nicely as and when that happens. I have to give a bigger shout out to the shields, which are far far easier to paint than Minas Tirith shields because they don't have the little wiggly bits of the tree coming out. But um, I was really pleased with them. It was just it, it's a joyous feeling to get models like this done. Um, I will have said this a bunch of times in various points and apologies for me repeating on the video but before starting battle streams these models would have never ever been painted I honestly believe if two years ago you'd asked me which models in my collection are least likely to ever get painted it would have been these guys the plastic new Minorians. and then because of battle streams they're done um, they're going to go and live in a case um, actually do you know what I, I'm going to change my mind about that because um, again I, forgive me I'm shooting this out of order I'm not sure I've said this I've they were going to live in a case and never see a game, but actually I'm going to take them to this year's Beat Battle Streams meetup. So um, they are going to get a few games in, so I'm quite excited about that. And there was also Jeff, the one Numenorian archer that I've got for some reason. I have no idea why I've got this model, but he was in the backlog, so I painted him at the same time. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they're 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 ropey. They're not. They're certainly not to the standard that I would paint models um, now for starting a new army. But do you know what they are? They're painted, and I couldn't be more. <laughs> Excuse me. See how excited I am? I'm sneezing. I couldn't be more happy, genuinely. I'm, I'm just 
Really, really buzzing to have got these guys done. So there we go. We've got nine Numenorians cleared from the backlog. And we've also got da, 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 eight High Elves with Elven Blade cleared from the backlog. And before I jump into these, I want to show you a very important model in my collection. And that is this guy. So this is a High Elf um, with bow, as you can see. And this guy was painted... Um, over 10 years ago. Um, I'm gonna try and put a photo up if I remember of um, Legolas leading some elves. And when I got back into the hobby, as, I, as I've said a billion times, um, I started this hobby in 2001 when the game came out and bought loads of stuff, but I never painted a single Lord of the Rings model back then. I played some games with it, um, particularly in stores, but I never painted um, a model. And then, then I dropped out of the hobby. So when I got back into it in early 2011, um, these were amongst some of the first models I ever painted. Uh, I think the order I did it was 10 Fighting Uruk High, then Gandalf, then these guys, and Legolas. So these are amongst my kind of first 20 SBG models I ever painted back in 2011. And the reason I painted them and painted them in this scheme was because these were, obviously they're in a Galathrum scheme, so I clearly had plans to use them um, at Helm's Deep, but also I primarily used them for the um, Lothlorien scenario when you need the six Wood Elf archers. That's why I painted up the archers. And clearly at that time, this just makes me feel a bit ill to think about, I was absolutely fine with proxies, you know, getting back into it and just playing it with my mates. I was like, well, what I need is elves. And I had these plastic elves sitting around from that starter set back in 2001. Um, so... I, I painted these elves up in a kind of third age colour scheme um, to be kind of used for Minas Tirith games, uh, sorry, Hell's Deep games as Glathrim and the Lothlorien ones as Wood Elf Archers. So um, yeah, they were painted way back when. And do you know what? He's not bad. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty kind of pleased with him. Um, you know, he's, he's alright. For some reason I didn't paint any of the detail on the, on the quiver there, but they're not too bad. So when... Um, when this project came around to, to clear these out, um, I I had these eight plastics set around that had never been um, had never been used. Essentially, the the guys with the um, with the with the swords had never been done um, because um, you know why, why the hell would I? By the, by this point, by the time I'd kind of finished these, I'd, I'd then moved on. You know, I've now moved, I've now painted kind of you know um, wood elf archers quite recently on battle streams actually and. Um, I would, you know, I would, I'm would. i at the point now where I would paint the right models and I wouldn't proxy them. So the only reason I'd ever need these guys is for Last Alliance stuff, which again, I'd never um, never get around to. But of course, Battle Stream's called, and so I painted these guys up. But unlike the Numenorians, I figured these guys should match these guys. So here you go. Here's my attempt to colour match the models from um, sort of 11 years ago. That obviously, it goes without saying, I didn't have any kind of... Um, you know, colour matching for, I, I hadn't written it down, but for some reason, some of this was in my head. I didn't know what the red was, so I just picked the um, I picked the closest red I could, and that ended up being Wazdaka red. Uh, I think it was just Wazdaka red shaded with Agrax, and then Wazdaka red again. The blue I just remembered, for some reason, was Regal blue, uh, on the blue cloaks, that was just in my head for some reason, and Regal blue is now Cantor blue, so that was Cantor blue shaved with Draconoff nightshade, and then a single highlight of Cantor blue. And then, again, for whatever reason, I remember that the armour was done with burnished gold at the time, which is now auric armour gold, and then it was shaded with this bad boy. GW Chestnut Wash. Now, I want to be really clear as well, because I've seen a few, this is not Chestnut Ink. Uh, you can get Chestnut Ink in one of the newer tubs, but Chestnut Wash was an absolutely fabulous ink wash from back in the day um, by GW. Um, and it made a really, really, really lovely kind of ready hue. And and I don't know if you can hear this. I'm not sure if that's come across, but there's a tiny, tiny amount left in this. And I basically haven't used this paint for 10 years because I knew I wanted to paint these. And I know how crazy this sounds, but I knew at some point maybe I'd paint these. And if I painted these, I would want to colour match them to these and I would need this magic chestnut wash stuff. So I kept this. And, and it worked. Um, so I painted these guys, um, I painted them auric armor gold instead of burnished gold. I then washed them with um, chestnut wash and then I highlighted them with single um, highlight of auric armor gold. And I think they came out all right. Um, again, very, very tabletop standard, bit of dry brushing on the, um, on the chain mail there. Um, you can see when you compare them side by side, the flesh cover I've used now, I went for Kislev flesh now, is a bit lighter, it's a bit paler. If you look at the difference in the hands, but you know, that doesn't matter. 
But generally speaking, I think these are a pretty good match. I'm pretty happy with these. And certainly for models that, let's not forget, I really don't care about. So I painted up eight of them. Um, for whatever reason, I think maybe I was rushing them a bit more. They didn't come out quite as well as the new Minorians, possibly. Um, the faces are a bit ropier and the eyes are a bit ropier and that sort of stuff. But again, for kind of tabletop standard models, oh, these are horrible, a bit scary. Um, they're absolutely fine. And I've got to say, it was a joy with the best one in the world not caring about them. I didn't touch up a single eye. I just I blobbed white in, blobbed black in, and then did the um, did the flesh paint. And you can kind of see, obviously, some of them are, are ropey, but I just didn't care. And it's an incredibly freeing um, kind of feeling. And I don't, um, I'm not suggesting you shouldn't care about your models, but certainly there are there are models that you care about for display and models that you should just paint up. And the, these, these for, for me, are very much in that second category. They're battle streams models that, it's not a case of painting them well or painting them badly. It's a case of painting them like this or not painting them at all. And, and Battle Streams has has done this for me. His Battle Streams has got these models painted that just never ever would have been painted. And I'm just I'm just super super excited about it and super happy about it. And I'm now, as I said, kind of looking forward to taking this little force to um to our Battle Streams meetup. Um. So yeah. The other thing that's kind of delighted the nostalgia head in me is that I, I got these models in 2001. As, as I've said a bunch of times, these were in my starter set. And so finishing these guys, I'd painted up 24 Murray Goblins over the years, but painting up these guys finishes my starter set at, at long last. You know, um, the ruins were painted up ages ago, the, the elf archers were painted up 10 years ago, but these guys now now finish it. So um, I'm almost kind of tempted to, to get all those out and play like a little um, a little starter scenario. I think there's one starting scenario in that original Fellowship of the Ring book and play some last Alliance Warriors against some Mario Goblins for fun. But there we go. So um, I feel really good about it. Um, it's not quite as much as I wanted to get painted this um, this month, but I've now got a, a kind of basically painted little Last Alliance Force, which I'm really excited about, and 17 models that never, ever would have been painted before Battle Streams of Middle-earth started um, are now ticked out of the backlog, painted purely for the joy of the hobby, and um, added to my painted collection. And I'm very, very excited about that. So there we go, that's what I've been working on. I'm gonna jump back to the chair and sign off. Okay, so there we go. That's what that's what I've managed to achieve. Um, I've painted nine new Minorians and eight high off archers. Now, to be absolutely clear on just where we are, we're actually at the start of April, and I've just finished the high, I've just finished the elves, and I, and I didn't quite do them. So just to kind of um, give you a summary of the, of, of the month, uh, things started off really, really well in um, early March, where I painted those new Minorians and I blasted them out. I really enjoyed it. It was all battle streams, clearing the backlog and everything. Everything was wonderful, um, and then I just had two weeks complete hobby funk. It was it was it was just dreadful. I just couldn't I couldn't do anything. We were in the process of kind of like redecorating and moving rooms around, so I didn't have a permanent painting um, set up. But if I'm honest, that's a bit more of an excuse than it is than it is a real reason. I just I was I was tired and we were all ill, and um, it just wasn't very conducive. And I got really annoyed at myself because. Um, I can't remember if I said when, when it would have been, but in an old hobby vlog I said I wanted to do those cave trolls as well. And my plan for this month, for March, had been to paint paint those plastics I've done and paint the cave trolls and then maybe start on my day old guys. Um, but I just didn't do it, I just had two weeks where I didn't paint anything. But then Battle Streams got me to paint the new new Minorians and then the Battle Streams um, got me to paint those high elves. And I was able to do those high elves in, in three evenings. I had an evening of base coating and shading, an evening of doing some highlights and then the evening of doing the last set of highlights and, and they were done. So just three evenings and they were um, they were out. But um, in the interest of full disclosure, uh, they, were, they were finished in April. So they're gonna to count towards April's tally, but I'm gonna explain in a minute why they're showing up in this vlog because April's gonna be a bit different. Um, so my total tally for March uh, was nine models. I painted nine models. It was the new Minorans. They were the only ones I did in March. So I painted nine, but I didn't buy any again so that's good that's good news and that takes me to um, a mighty 24 models painted for the year and only one model um, bought so I'm still doing well I'm happy um, I'm happy with what I what I achieved and like I say it's very very early April now and I have done those elves so I think I think I set out maybe in the last vlog that I was hoping to paint about 20 models um, in in March and as it turned out, I painted, um, was it 17? Yeah, 17. So it's the trolls that I kind of missed out on. So the two trolls are still there. I'm still hoping to squeeze them in somewhere, but that's kind of what, what fell apart. 
and the Dale models that I started on the stream, they didn't get finished, but we knew about that because they were bumped because of the trolls, if that makes sense. So it's the, it's the trolls that really are disappointing that I haven't been able to get done. But um, ultimately, by my standards, kind of 16 models per month is pretty good. I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, argue. And I, I, for the moment at least, I'm out of my hobby funk. So long may that continue. So there we go, that's the, that's the March update, um, which is that I painted nine models and I didn't buy any. Hooray, clear the backlog. Now, I've also, as you can see, uh, finished those elves, um, but I'm not counting them because they were finished in April, so they will count towards the April tally. But I wanted to include them in this video because my next hobby vlog is going to be something very, very different. Um, when I set out my plan um, in January, I guess, for the year, um, what's about to happen in April I hadn't planned for because I've been invited to be part of a community hobby challenge and I've decided to do it. So I'm going to, all my plans, it's just a month, um, all my plans for April have been scrapped which is basically um, some Dale Warriors. So Dale Warriors have just been punt, punted down the line and instead I'll be taking part in this um, community challenge. So my next hobby vlog it's probably going to be a long one again because I'm going to be filming it as I go and it's going to go over the course of about a month. So you will see it in about a month's time, uh, my April hobby vlog, and it will be doing something completely different. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil what it is. You might start to see things popping up on the groups um, over the next month or so, um, either from me or from other people um, about what it is. But I'm getting stuck into that, and so you'll be getting a hobby vlog entirely about that one process um, of me of what I've done in April, which I'm really quite excited about. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to put the elves in here. Um, because they are kind of they are March's project, even if they got done. So um, you'll see, you'll as I said, you'll get a hobby vlog in about a month's time, um, catching up on that, and then I'll get to add eight eight elves to um, to that total essentially, um, because I, I would have painted them in April as well. And I think my April plans were just like seven day warriors and some battle stream stuff. And my optimistic plan at the moment for this hobby challenge is that I might paint. I might paint 14 models, so I might actually end up because of this doing more. We'll we'll see as ever, um, but yeah, that's that's the plan. So um, there you go. I hope you I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that's caught you up a little bit on what I've been up to in March. Um, very very miserable couple of weeks in the middle, but great start and um, ending things positively. And I'm very very excited about what's to come in April. So I will see you either on our next stream or in my next hobby vlog in about a month's time when I'll hopefully have. A whole new project to kind of show you completely completed which will be a lot of fun until then um, thanks for tuning in make sure you're tuning into our live streams as I record this the next one is we're halfway there whoa oh living on a prayer it's gonna be um, episode 59 is gonna be our halfway point through the whole magazine series um, so we hope you can join us for that and have a big celebration and um, we'll be doing lots of stuff maybe letting off party poppers giving some stuff away who knows? And we are approaching a thousand subscribers. So fingers crossed we can cross a thousand subscribers on the stream night. That'd be pretty epic, wouldn't it? So tell your friends, um, share the stuff, and hopefully I'll be seeing you very soon here on Battle Streams Middle Earth. If I don't, have a lovely Easter, eat lots of chocolate, um, chase rabbits, whatever it is you do, and I'll see you very soon on Battle Streams in Middle Earth.